Thank you. I now recognize the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Perry, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chilson, in your testimony, you mentioned Microsoft's recent announcements to announcement to reopen Three Mile Island uh, to power one of, its, one of its data centers in Pennsylvania. It's at the heart of the district that I'm honored to represent. Uh, Constellation Energy, by reopening it, will create approximately 3,400 new jobs, uh, create over $3 billion in state and federal taxes, adding $16 billion to Pennsylvania's GDP. Can you, I mean, Const, well, Constellation obviously owns Three Mile Island, but Microsoft could have said, well, we want the most efficient. I know we were just talking about efficiency for data centers and that that data center operators don't want or maybe don't care. That's the inference. They don't care about the efficiency of the power they get. So why didn't Microsoft come to Pennsylvania to the PJM and say, well, look, we need this much power. We want you to build this much solar or we want you to add this much wind or this much renewable. Why did they pick Three Mile Island? I think they're looking at the the trade-offs and the cost to energy there, and uh, you know, uh, getting more energy uh, from a facility that uh, you know has a proven uh, ability to generate it, um, and I think uh, the ability to to mobilize it quickly. Um, this is a race, uh, not just in a, a highly competitive race among companies uh, in the U.S., but uh, obviously internationally, and so getting this. Uh, done quickly, I think is really important, and I think they saw the opportunity to um, to jump on this particular uh, supply. Do you know the efficiency rating of nuclear power, particularly Three Mile Island? Is it ninety five percent efficient, ninety seven when it was operating previously? Do you? I, I don't know offhand. Yeah. I suspect there are some other people on this panel who uh, who might be able to it's tell a, you it's that. It's in the high nineties, <laughs> right? And it's base load power, right? And it's not dependent on the sun shining or the wind blowing, do data centers, do, or do, do data centers, should they be concerned about uh, baseload power that is reliable and consistent 24 hours a day, 365 days a year? Absolutely. They run some of the most important uh, services. They support some of the most important services that we all use all the time. And so they need to be up and running all the time. Mr. Mills, you seem interested in answering, and, and you can go where you want to with this. We've got a little bit of time left. But we're looking at, and, and as Mr. Chilson said, at a race, uh, and, and a race often with our adversary, and as they describe us, the enemy, which is China. What can we learn as the United States from an energy perspective from China in winning this race? Well, that's uh, uh, speed matters, I guess, would be the, the short answer that the Chinese are very good at building nuclear plants in four years, new ones. Well, well hold on a second. China also provides 85, somewhere in that percentage of solar panels and solar panel related battery. Correct. Yes, sir. Why aren't they, if they provide that and they're so good at that, why aren't they using those things to meet their Paris Climate Accord uh, requirements well, and I, to show the world that this yes, works sir, for yeah. winning this race? Why aren't they doing that? Well, I think, not to be a cynic, they are doing that, of course. They're building everything, but they're also building coal plants at a furious right. pace as well. And uh, they produce over 95% of the silicon needed for photovoltaic cells in the world on coal-fired grids. About two-thirds of their grid is coal-fired, as you know. And the location of the energy-intensive manufacturing of polysilicon to make photovoltaic cells is on the coal-intense part of the grid. So China recognizes that power is fundamental. That getting it quickly and inexpensively matters. I'm, I'm not endorsing China's um, environmental policies, however, because and neither I, am I. I think we can we can thread the needle in between the two. I was um, uh, pleased to hear that you're from the district that I visited on March 28th, 1979, oh. not to date myself. I, I, I lived there on the, well, at that time. We may have bumped into each other. Still I, do. I spent the week of the accident uh, at the site and uh, spent the next half dozen years of my life defending the virtues of nuclear energy, unsuccessfully, obviously, since we abandoned it largely. But well, I think it's that coming back. It so is. Awesome and, news. I think the uh, refurbishment of TMI is a very, a very good sign because it's, it's possible to bring that back online. There's only maybe a half dozen reactors like that. But... You're, if I may answer the question, why did Microsoft choose that? It chose that because you can quickly get a, an enormous amount of highly reliable power. And, of course, Microsoft likes the fact that it's non-combustion power. 
Highly reliable, highly efficient, highly affordable, right? Yes, sir. On all of the above. But they didn't ask for, you know, you can put up a lot of solar panels quickly too, right? Yeah, I, th I think you're going to, to be fair, I think you're going to see both. So if you look what's going on in Louisiana with the, the large new Meta facility, it's three gigawatts, like three, three or four Three Mile Islands worth of uh, power requirements. And they're going to build windmills, solar arrays, and and almost three Would they gas. be doing that without federal and state subsidies for the, for the non-traditional power sources? I, I am skeptical that they would, but I think- I Me think, too. I think, given the amount of money these companies have, I share Mr. Slocum's view that these are very deep-pocketed organizations. I think they would still, this is my suspicion, I'm all for getting rid of all the subsidies. I'm on record frequently before Congress on this. I think that they would still build a lot of solar and wind, but a lot less of it than they are now doing. I yield.